Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is BrookDP, and today we are going to be starting a brand new FIFA 16 career mode series. So, we are obviously going to take our stat upgrade and stuff, because why not? It's the last time. I'll probably be doing a career on FIFA, and we choose the Almighty Spurs, and this is the career settings that I have, and I'm setting up the Europe selection I'm gonna make it realistic so the season has just gone so Leicester City Arsenal and Tottenham will be in the Champions League and then the Europa League Man United West Ham Liverpool Southampton and whatnot so yeah the uh, download the latest squad's being downloaded and I'm really hope you guys enjoy this career mode because I'm, I'm gonna enjoy it I decided to call myself the woman yes because the wo a woman has not yet brought a team to the top of the Premier League, so this is going to be the woman's time, if you say. But yeah, it was loading, and I thought, God, does this want to take any longer to load? Like, it was driving me crazy, but yeah. And we are going to overwrite this career YT save, because... And only because I just tried to do this with Norwich. But we're going to get preseason invites and we're going to join the one with the most money, obviously. So that is obviously going to give us the most transfer budget. And to my surprise, we were in. And our domestic cup objective was to have a cup run. And our league objective was to qualify for the Champions League, but we get into our first game against Benfica, and I wasn't actually too shocked about the result, like, I thought my team was very, very solid, except for Dele Alli getting sent off in the third minute, and then they scored, after I scored, like, not long before, so, but Kane equals it in the 41st minute, which is... A god given saviour. And he got another one on the score sheet, and it was just, I was happy because Son got another goal as well, but he got quite injured. After that, we made an uh, inquiry about Chanlungu. Our Champions Cup objective was to reach the knockout stages as well. And we joined our first, second game against Villarreal. I simulated all the pre season games. Because I just wanted to get it done because it's only preseason. But Lamella gets a goal in the eighth minute, and then Bruno with the yellow card 20 minutes later. But nothing ha really happened in that first half. But Lamella getting his second goal of the game, which was really good. Uh, Sol got one to make it 2-1. But in the end, guess who come out the victor? I did. Yes, I come out victor. And we put a bid in for Chanalungu, Chanalunglu, for 13.5 million. And we put a bid in for Rodriguez for 14 million. But we got into our third game against Celta Vigo. Kane got a penalty straight away and rifled it in the back of the net, more likely. And that was very good. Not too much ha not happened. Not a lot happened in the... Actually, a lot did. Uh, Ericsson with the second goal. And Davies got sent off, so it just made the game even harder for my team. I've already had a couple red cards. But Walker just, just seals the deal. Puts the nail in the coffin for Celta Vigo. And sends a rocket down. And we made our way into a semi-final of the... No, is it... No, it's not a semi-final, actually. It is the group stage, because I had Leon on my group, I think. I'm not sure. It was either one of the two. I think it was the semi-final, though. Cor like, I, I, I can't remember. But it was quite a dull game, to be honest. Like, I wasn't... Well, I was expecting a lot more, but not much happened, so... And they won 4-3 on penalty. It just really, really, really hacked me off, because... I thought my team was performing so well in the group, the three group games that we did have, but luckily no one got sent off this time, and yeah, that just really annoyed me, and so I just wanted to move on and progress, 
into this career mode. So, yeah, the reason why I just stayed on this screen so long was because I was raging so much. But, yeah, we, we, Chanalungu, well, they accepted the bid for Chanalungu. And then I put a bid in for Pianic, and because other teams are going in, I increased it to 34, and the same again to 35. But to no avail, they didn't accept. But Chanalungu accepted his contract, and we signed him. And we also put Marcus Rashford in the squad as well and he accepted his contract and then Vertonghen was being targeted by teams and we just put him up for 17 million I don't know why I could have got more but Stoke didn't prove to be a challenging opponent I don't think but this is gonna look really stupid but Ericsson scored so did Kane yeah they didn't really prove much it was quite an easy game for my squad, my rock solid squad. And this is the last game of the Tongan and he gets a goal, so that was it was a good way, it was a good sending off. But then we made our target for Antoine Griezmann because we got told we needed a striker. So I didn't know which player to put in as well as the 40 million because I was never gonna reach that 50 million price tag. But then I put Ryan Mason and then immediately went into our game of Leicester. So I thought this was going to be like the dream run for Leicester again. Vardy scored in the 11th minute. I thought I thought this was going to be the one. Chalalungu already getting injured. I think on his debut as well. But I thought this was going to be a Leicester dream run. Lamella again stepping up when we need him most. But yeah, because they, they won every game. And they won 2-1 because F Fook scored. And we have sold the Tongan, unfortunately. And they accepted the transfer offer for Mason. So Ryan Mason is going to be finding his way into the Atletico Madrid squad. And Griezmann didn't accept his contract at first. So we went into our game with Palace after sorting that out. And this was in the Capital One Cup. I simulated, I think, every game in this episode. I'm really sorry about that, but... Yeah, I think I start playing the games next episode, but nothing happened. And came Mr. Penalty, like that is gonna become a common theme, I reckon, because of simulation. But nothing. But Kane redeems himself to score the penalty, and we had won. Griezmann didn't accept his contract, so we gave him a twenty bonus, and then he accepted. So. That's good, we got Griezmann in our squad, number 18 there, and we put Rashford in there, Barkley scored, and we are at home as well, so we can't be having none of this. So, at half time, Kane bags one, and then Dyer bags one as well, Kevin Vimmer gets injured too. However, we had one. Okay, so we put 19 bid in for Smalling, all our money, and Vimmer, but yeah, they accepted, and transfer deadline day had ended, so guys, if you did enjoy the episode, I really hope you did, this is going to be my, f uh, this is going to come regularly, I'm going to work as hard as I can, but thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.